What's up everyone? It's the first day here at Drift Masters Round 3 in Drive Center in Sweden. Uh, we are a long way north. We're very close to the Arctic Circle up here. Uh, the weather is actually really nice. It's hot. Uh, it's 25, 26 degrees today. Uh, so weather is amazing and one very interesting thing about this part of Sweden when you're up so north is uh, There's no night light so Everyone at the moment is kind of struggling getting a good night's rest uh, because it doesn't get dark uh, the sunset is like almost midnight and the sunrise is just after 1 a.m. and uh, that hour and a half kind of in between is like evening time it looks like it's not even dark uh, so that's a big adjustment for everyone. It's pretty cool. Brand new track for us. We never drifted here before um, It looks like a very interesting track. Uh, it's pretty fast very flowing um, So yeah, we, we haven't driven it yet, but we're about to go out there in about 20 minutes and uh, check it out for the first time So I'm excited. I love uh, new challenges with new tracks kind of reminds me of last year when we were traveling to new new places that we've never been before and uh, giving it our best shot so we'll see how quickly we can adapt to the new track cars ready to go sounds good and uh, yeah she's repaired the lads did a good job repairing the front bumper as I said we'll have a fresh bumper for Riga so we just patched this one off as best we could for this weekend, but it doesn't look too bad from a distance. There she is. All our Falcon tires, sweet little pit garage we have for ourselves for the weekend. And uh, yeah, very excited to jump in the car. So I think that's what we're about to do in 10 minutes. So time to get ready. thoughts what are your thoughts my thoughts what are you thinking i need a nice cold drink <laughs> are you gonna say beer <laughs> yeah it's a bit early mikey yeah so i made the car very dusty 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 as you can see under the bonnet is a bit dirty because i uh had a very close one so, we're just after the first practice session and the track is genuinely tricky. Um, finding it pretty difficult so far. Basically, uh, first corners, first, second, third, fourth, initiate. Uh, one outside clip right on the edge on the entry, then you're kind of running the outside line for a very little bit, slowly wrapping it into uh, inside clip which is about two meters from the curb two thirds of the way around the first corner then you go out to an outside clip at the end of the first corner transition and run down the track and this is the trickiest part so you're going downhill with a lot of speed into a tight right or clip is on the, the left right on the edge of the track with a big drop into uh, sand 
uh, run through that, then you have an inner clip um, around that same right hander, push out to the outside for another outside clip, transition left for outside zone on the right, and then transition to the last corner, run the outside zone out to the wall. The only other issue we had was we changed the gear ratio. Um, we went to one of our gear sets that we have used before, but for some reason there was absolutely unbelievable noise off it, decelerating. changed a ratio that was really close and the, the noise was gone so I really don't know why that was happening um, it's the right gear set and everything so interesting but uh, ready to go I think going out for the next practice session let's hope we can tidy it up <laughs> getting ready for qualifying now and uh, whew, it's been a, a tough day that's I can it's been a tough day I uh, really struggled to get into the groove on this track to figure out the right technique um, to go from the first corner to the second corner and stay committed um, I felt like my car was washing off the track coming down the hill with a lot of speed uh, but I figured out after talking to some other drivers and trying a few new things most people are using quite a bit of left foot braking uh, to have the car more balanced and stay on throttle instead of slowing down off throttle with a bit of handbrake so I tried that, uh, definitely worked a lot better in my last couple of runs so feeling better but uh, yeah I would say I have done one lap that I'm very happy with and uh, it's hard to be repeatable on this track so Definitely challenging, but it's the same for everybody. Um, there's been some accidents because uh, the track is the track surface is perfect, uh, but off the track where the clipping zones are, um, the ground is really soft. It's like a, a sand, and with people dropping wheels, there's huge ruts being created, and uh, it's very very sketchy at the moment if you drop a wheel. Um, so challenging for sure it's the same for everybody let's hope we have some good luck for qualifying we'll give it our best
just wrapped up qualifying and it's been a challenging day for sure. Found it hard to kind of get into the groove as I was saying with this track. And uh, but towards the end it came together, like not feeling 100% myself. Um, we got a 92 in our first run and a 95 in our second run. And I know, I knew before I was even passing the finish line where I was making mistakes, but it just didn't flow for me. I uh, couldn't really get into that comfortable groove back to back. Uh, but considering, I'm very happy, 95 points. Uh, four place, there's three of us in 95, Connor's in fifth with a 95, I'm in fourth with a 95, Peter's in third with a 95, Dwayne is in second with a 98, and Jack is first with a 99. So the lads are absolutely serious on top. But uh, we're getting there. I'm going to give the car a check over now. Uh, we'll adjust the gear ratio, I think, for tomorrow. Make it a bit more drivable. And... Uh, just see how it goes from there. So we haven't tried a tandem run yet. I think it's gonna be very hard because it's hard enough as it is to do a lead run. So to do a good tandem is gonna be very challenging, I think. But uh, yeah, the plan is now tonight. Sun's not gonna go down, but we're gonna to try to get some sleep. What time is it? It's 9 p.m. and look how high the sun is still. Crazy. So, uh, not too bad, could be a lot worse. The car has been absolutely perfect, no issues. Uh, just gonna give it a check over. But she's a good, good girl. So we're back for main event day, or just after practice, and uh, we had some... It started off ropey, to be honest. Uh, again, just found it hard to get my groove. I'm just... I'm, I'm just... Personally, I'm not feeling 120% this weekend. Uh, but the lads have had the car perfect. Everyone is here supporting me. It's, it's brilliant. It's just... I'm finding it hard to get in the groove like normal. Um, but I had a bit of a reset after my first two practice laps and uh, went back out there and uh, I was much, much happier. So we did some good chase runs. Uh, finally got the groove in the lead runs here too. So I'm feeling much more comfortable than I was yesterday and definitely than I was this morning. So I'm happy with that. We finished up practice. This practice is still going, but uh, we just don't want to risk the car too much. I'm feeling comfortable now, so uh, just gonna save the energy and save the car for when it counts hopefully later on uh, we're battling axel francois first and uh we'll take from there so it's definitely going to be an event of one step at a time and see see where it goes but in general i'm a lot happier than what it was that's all i can say um yeah you can see the, the tires on the I'm actually getting three runs of this track on a set of tires. So one, this did one lead and actually two leads and one chase run, which is pretty, pretty impressive. So in general, feeling good. Now it's time to have a bit of rest before the battles. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so we're through our top 32 run with Axel. Uh, challenging isn't the word. It started raining about 15 minutes before top 32 started. And uh, before our run, it was still, I would say, 90% wet. Not easy. And uh, on my chase run, coming into the last corner, my clutch started to not work. Um, I was using a handbrake to try to position myself from jumping up an axle and uh, basically it was killing the RPM every time I pulled the handbrake. So I'm glad to be through the battle, we got the win and uh, now we're pulling the gearbox out to have a look and see what's going on but glad it happened then and not in the first round, sorry the first lap, glad it didn't happen in the first lap and uh, we could get through the battle. Actually on my first lap I noticed that the pedal was feeling a bit weird and that uh, it felt strange while shifting but uh, there's nothing you can do in the middle of the battle you need to there's no five minute rule here in Drift Masters so you just have to uh, go when it's time to go and hope for the best but we'll pull the Samsonas out have a look at the clutch and see what's going on battle with Connor again today oh my god I was like not again two wins in a row I knew it was gonna be hard but I gave it absolutely everything in the lead and the chase and uh, it all worked out it was uh, it was fairly sick especially going over the finish line it was like his car was on the wall my car was on the wall both fully committed and uh, yeah so 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 happy especially with how I've been feeling this weekend because Honestly, I was doubting myself early on in the in the weekend and uh, that alone being in top four, I'm extremely happy. Next, we're going to be battling my good friend Jack Shannon again. It's always a brilliant battle, so I'm really excited and uh, we'll give it our best. So, yeah, good times. <laughs>
has done uh, four players today, not too bad. I qualified fourth and finished fourth. Uh, we'll see what we can do for Riga. But Riga is a great track, I love it there. We'll see what happens, but besides all that, it's been a great day for Irish drifting. Uh, we got Dwayne and Jack going one more time in the finals. Here they are now coming in. Dwayne is having a lot of fun this weekend. I bet he'll be smiling. <laughs> good job, man. Good Thank job, you. good job. Thanks. Keep it going now, have fun. Yeah, I'm ready to go to Frank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank really fast now. I'm going to enjoy watching it. We'll leave it there for this weekend and we'll see what happens in the result. Good job, man. You know what to do. See me coming, I'm a landmine. Yeah, I ain't taking notice in command light. Yeah, you about to see me on demand light. You know on demand. If you ain't know, you about to understand. Yeah, I got the team by my side, right hand. Yeah, take it to a stream, you ain't seen it like that. Yeah, and it's the dream that we coming for the bad. Yeah, and we ain't never going back now. Future expediting, now we on the fast track now. They won't lend a hand, now they see us on the map now. It's time to act out. Here we go, at the top of the class on the road. And it's time to run it up, yeah, you know. Maxed out, put the pedal to the flow. Hey, on the road, here we go, here we go, yeah. At the top of the class on the road. 